Hey guys and gals, Nary right here for Drake Wing Gaming. It's up, you know, on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play episode of Fueled by Insanity, Tracy's Path. Hmm, so yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. We also got Movie Night coming up on Thursday, y'all, October 5th, 7 p.m. Eastern Central Time. I'm going to be watching one of my favorite horror movies, VHS. Pop in the Discord, y'all. It's as little as five dollars. May even make it a little lower, so more people can get in and watch the movie with us. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay, okay. Um, okay. You two are free to use their air mattress again. I'll be taking Tracy back to her place after we finish our donuts. After donuts, yes. Alrighty. And I. That weird diner again. Red bar stools, wooden floors, bright lights. I'm back where I was last night, in the dream that just got in the dream that got cut off. Knowing full well where this is going, I turned to the booth behind me to find Kajuro sitting there with a burger in hand, just like last time. He smiles upon making eye contact. Bravo! You did it. You've secured your ticket to end this once and for all. I knew you could, but I didn't think you would. I'm pleasantly surprised. With my encouragement, You've solved what should have been solved two years ago. Despite the compliment, I can detect a hint of bitterness in his voice. Uh, thanks, I guess? You must be exhausted after such an eventful day. Come, take a seat. Him pointing that out does nothing to help. He's right that I'm exhausted. That's why he's the last person I want to deal with. Regardless, I humor him and sit. Care for some fries? Pedro gestures to a plate full of fries on the table that wasn't there before. And no thanks. Pedro then shrugs and pops a few in his mouth. I'm not sure what to make of Kaijuro anymore. He told the truth about the cavern and gave me a warning, but previous meetings reminded me to keep my guard up. He's so laid back right now that it's unnerving. With everything, with everything that's happened, how do you feel at the present moment knowing the most dangerous step is out of the way? Are you excited, relieved, or are you perhaps scared? Scared? What reason would I have to be scared? We've won, right? Have you? Well, I guess we still have to find a way to get Caleb out of prison first, huh? I don't even know how, how we're meant to do that. You'll find a way. I'm certain of that. How do you know? Rather than giving an answer, Kajuro takes a large bite of his burger and shrugs. Seriously? Kajuro takes his time swallowing before speaking again. Rather than asking if you get Caleb back, think about when you do. Are you prepared for your, for your reunion? It's been quite some time since you last saw each other, hasn't it? You have concerns about how things will play out once he gets back, as I, as I can see. Are you ready to face what's been pushed under the surface for so long? Shit. I was hoping to avoid even thinking about it, but that is true. What will happen when this all comes out? I'll have to face Caleb. He's going to hate me for abandoning him for so long, isn't he? Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Lord. Bless me. Oh. Oh, sinuses, y'all. Okay. Last night, Kazura told me Caleb doesn't blame me for anything. I'm not so sure about that. I was happy to be so close to the finish line, but what actually does happen once I cross it? There's not exactly going to be a big celebration party once he's back. Quite the opposite, in fact. Everything will have to come to light. I'll have to explain what happened to everyone, somehow. I won't be thrilled in the slightest. And Caleb, he's going to have so much psychological trauma. Will he, even be able to, will he even be the same Caleb I once knew? Even so. Maybe I'm scared. I don't know. But does it really matter? I'm committed. I didn't put my life on the line just to turn back now. That's not the only reason. I miss Caleb. I know I tried to forget him before, but that doesn't mean I don't still want him back. So even if I'm scared, I won't turn back. Kajuro smiles, seemingly pleased with my response. I see. You no longer need prodding. That's good. In that case, how about we move on to a subject I'm very interested in? What's that? An event that took place in the cavern today, one which was never fully addressed. One of your group members is not who they seem, are they? You know who I'm referring to. Are you talking about Ted? Correct. Magic is a skill that is rarely seen, as you might have guessed. It requires years of study and practice to master even the most basic of spells. You witnessed your friend perform one before your very eyes. Not only that, but magic is only possible to perform with an Amana Amplification Hotspot. The cavern you entered is one of these. 
So, you know, coffee time. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is good. Ah. It's like, you know, I gotta clear my nose. Okay, we're back. Mana? Y you mean, like, in RPGs and stuff? Not exactly, though it is similar in concept. Mana is a resource which exists all around us, though its concentration is so infinitesimally small that it may as well not exist. So, I'm guessing an amplification hotspot has a lot more mana then. You're a smart fox. So, if you have to practice for a long time, but you need a mana hotspot to even use to begin with... Upon asking my question, Kajiro's ears perk up and he puts down the remainder of his burger. It looks like he's waiting for me to go on. I don't understand, though. How can Ted use magic, then? He's never been to the cave before. You said it yourself. So there's no way he could have learned, right? It's truly a mystery indeed. What am I supposed to do with this information? Whatever you want. That is up to you. Though, I have a question for you. What is it? Do you believe Ted is on board with this plan of yours? Well, why wouldn't he be? It's a simple yes or no question. I, yes, of course he is. So he has shown absolutely no indication that it might suggest otherwise. Now that I think about it, Ted looked nervous after we found the Ignisium. That's not the only time. But that doesn't mean anything, right? I've, I've been nervous about this whole thing, too. Kajiro is just trying to make me doubt Ted, and I don't know why. All I know is it's not going to work. Even with the whole magic thing, I'm sure Ted has a good explanation for everything. How much do you trust Ted? What the fuck is he on about? I trust him with my life. And why is that? What do you mean, why? Do I need a reason? Besides, he saved Blake's life. He's even the one who found the Ignisium when the rest of us missed it. So how dare you tell me not to trust him? You misunderstand me. I'm not telling you who you should and shouldn't trust, only that Ted is hiding something. I would suggest you find out what that is. The answers may surprise you. Huh? <sighs> Just like that, Kajiro vanishes in front of my very eyes. What the fuck was that? I can't tell what he's trying to do. Is he trying to turn me against Ted? But why? No, he just he said he he just said he isn't. But I don't know what his goal is. I'll try to figure out. I'll try to figure things out in the morning. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, to be continued. All right, that's fair. All righty. All right, y'all. Well, it looks like we have reached the current end of Tracy's build. Pause it right there. Yeah, I am, uh, I'm kind of curious as to where this is going to go. So, I mean, obviously we know that Ted is Kaijuro. But Kaijuro just doesn't want to straight out come out and say that, you know, he is Ted. He wants Jeffrey, or Colin, as his real name, oh, what is his real name is, to uh, solve the mystery himself. Really gauging how intelligent he is, and if he can rely on him for future endeavors and such. But, yeah, um... Yeah, I've, I've been... Oh, Y'all know I really enjoy Field by Insanity. It's a great horror series. Um, uh, God, I just... I can't wait till the whole game was done. I can't wait... Yeah, I can't wait till the whole game is done. And uh, then we can fully enjoy every, everything else the game has to offer. But, yeah, y'all, so I suppose I am going to... <clears throat> I am going to pause it right there. Um, remember, y'all, this Thursday is movie night. I think I'm probably going to make the Patreon tier uh, as little as $1. Just probably, probably just to see if a lot of y'all want to come in there and watch the movie with us, and we'll be on voice chat and everything. So it should be a great, it should be a grand old time. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell, and uh, check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.